Vitamin D Video is an application that detects humans and moving objects in video streams. It runs on a PC or Mac with off-the-shelf webcams or network cameras. Based on a new form of intelligent computing, Vitamin D Video gives you professional-grade security analytics at a fraction of the cost. Let's see how it works. There's a monitor view where you can see your cameras live, or you can click on this icon to see the search view where your recorded videos are stored. This time bar indicates that a camera has been running for about five hours. Now since vitamin D video is able to detect the presence of people moving in videos, you don't have to fast forward and scan through the entire day of video. Instead, the day is broken down into a series of clips of people that are detected moving in the video clips. It's like an interactive highlight reel of your day. Now, you may have set up this camera to monitor a stock room, in which case you'd be interested in knowing who has come in and out of the room. So to help refine my search, I click on this button and it displays what we call the rule editor. This allows me to customize specifically what I'm looking for. For example, I'm looking for people and I can select that here. And rather than looking for people anywhere in the video, I might be interested in looking for people just coming in through this door. So I select this option of people entering through a door, and then I draw on the screen, moving these knobs, where the door is. Note how the rule name is changed automatically based on what I've set. Now the list is filtered to just the three cases of people coming in through the door. Now since I notice people are carrying boxes out of the room, I might be interested in refining my search to see if people then left through this other door. So I can edit the rule and start by saying instead of this door, I'm interested in looking at what happens with this other door and I just move it over like this. And I say instead of coming in through the door, I'm interested in people going out through the door. So now when I click OK, I see only the clips of people going out through that door, and sure enough, there's the person with the box going out the door. Next, I'm going to show you some video from about eight hours of a busy street corner. Now, the first thing you might notice is that the boxes are not yellow, that they're green. That's because vitamin D video only draws yellow boxes around people. For other moving objects, it draws green boxes. Now since this is a busy outdoor scene, you'll notice that over the course of eight hours there are almost 1,500 clips of moving objects. If I were to spend only five seconds on each clip, it would still take me several hours to review all the video for the day. But since vitamin D video recognizes people, I can click here to filter the list to show only clips of people during my day, and now it's something like 130 results. So now I can just click on all the clips of people and not worry about the cars. Now I'm using the mouse here, but there are also a series of keyboard shortcuts that make it very efficient to scan through your clips. While I'm at it, I'll show you an example of how vitamin D video recognizes a person in a case that challenges computers. To a human, it's obvious that this is a person and a ladder, but a computer can be fooled because it sees this as an odd horizontal shape, not a vertical walking person. Because vitamin D video uses algorithms based on how the human brain works, it's more flexible in recognizing cases like this. Next, I'm going to create another rule. Let's say you mounted this camera because you suspected people were tampering with your mailbox. I can click on this plus button to add a new rule. Again, I'm looking for people, which I'll select here. And in this case, I'm looking for people who are in front of my mailbox, so I'm going to create a region and draw it on top of the mailbox. However, I'm not interested in the people walking by, so what I want to do is to set a duration of several seconds, which means that I only want to see videos of people who are standing in front of that mailbox for several seconds. Now when I click OK, you can see the list is now filtered down to only two people. And if I click here, I can see that there is a person, in fact, tampering with the mailbox. Now fortunately, this happens to be the mailman, so he's the one person who's supposed to be tampering with the mailbox. Now think for a moment about the problem that we've just solved. 
You've been asked to look through 8 hours of video, 1,500 objects of motion, and find the one person who has been tampering with the mailbox. Using vitamin D video, you found this needle in the haystack with just a few mouse clicks. So now that you've set up a rule that can detect these events, you can also set it up to be notified if such events are seen in the future. I just open up the rule and click this box and an email will be sent that I can read on my computer or my phone. Thank you for watching this demonstration of vitamin D video. For more information, please go to vitamindinc.com.